Hi everyone, welcome back to Haley K Studio. I'm Haley and I like to share Procreate tutorials. I like to share tutorials that are easy for beginners or anyone that wants to try a new skill here in Procreate that is simple and fun and it doesn't take a whole lot of deep Procreate knowledge. We will be using only the default brushes and the Procreate halftone effect to create a really fun piece of art. So there'll be no need for any extra brush sets or downloads. You won't need to make any purchases in order to make this piece of art. So we're keeping it simple and accessible for everybody. So the image we'll be making today is inspired by my love of vintage comics and those cartoon mascots from like the 1950s and 60s on like cereal boxes or whatever. I just, I love the nostalgic vibe and the kind of like half tone vintage style that they have. So I'm super excited to make this. So I'm going to guide you step by step through this process and sharing my tips and tricks along the way. And by the end of this tutorial, you will have mastered the half tone effect here in Procreate. If you like this video, please remember to give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos like this, please hit that subscribe button and you can see more of these in the future. So let's go ahead and get started. Today I am working with a square canvas that is 2048 pixels by 2048 pixels and it is 300 dpi. So today we're going to make a kind of like a vintage 1950s, 1960s mascot and what I have landed on is a little happy burger <laughs> and it could be hamburger, it could be a veggie burger, it could be any kind of burger you want. Um, but that's what we're going to get started doing. So to start off, I am going to be working with the Narinder pencil uh, just to do my sketch and I am just working in black here. So I'm going to go ahead and speed this up and I'm going to sketch out my burger. So here is my burger all sketched out and um, it's, you know, pretty shaky because that Narendra pencil really does catch every little twitch in your hand. So um, it's definitely very sketchy. What I'm going to do first is I'm going to do my outline work. And to do my outline, I am going to be working in the calligraphy brush set in the brush library. And I'm going to be using the script brush. And that is again, just a default brush that comes with Procreate and I will be doing this also in black. Okay, so there is my burger all outlined. He's um, looking pretty good. He's looking pretty happy. And um, I didn't uh, do the little sesame seeds on the bun. I'm just going to be uh, using the color um, for those later. So I'm just going to take you through the different um, features and effects in Procreate that we're going to use today. So one of the features we're going to use is Alpha Lock. We're going to use that one quite a bit um, throughout the rest of this project. And we will use um, Gaussian Blur for a few spots um, just to kind of blend some um, two different colors together. And then we're going to use the halftone effect. And a lot of people believe that you have to use halftone brushes and there's some really popular halftone brushes that you can get and um, they're, they can be kind of pricey, but they are really cool. They do a lot for you. And one of the arguments for using Procreate brushes or halftone brushes is that there's the belief that you have to halftone the whole image and you don't get that um, isolated halftone effect in different areas, but using layers, alpha lock, and half tone together, you can control where your half tone goes and, and how much um, in each section and kind of vary the look of your of your picture. And I'll show you how I use those features. Now what I will be doing is I will be going again section by section, filling in each area, particularly ones that are the same color. I'm gonna put them in 
the same layer like um, he's got a tomato here and I'm planning on using that same red that I'll use on the tomato for his mouth and uh, I have a color palette here and um, it's just the basic color set that I am going to be using for this so we've got our uh, layer we added here beneath our outline layer and I have got my monoline brush chosen and that is in the sketching brush set in the default brush library uh, that comes with your Procreate and I am going to start off with this color here. So now I've got that top bun filled in and now I'm going to utilize the alpha lock and I'm going to probably keep that on this layer um, for the rest of the duration of the image and we're going to keep turning on alpha lock with each of our layers. So what I want to do here is I want to add a sort of gradient to this image and to do that I just want to add this tone here. And we've got that awful lock on, so we're not going to be adding this color to any area that we don't want to. And this doesn't have to be perfect because it's going to be blurred together. So we have that alpha lock on. We're going to keep that on. And now we're going to go to the adjustments and go to Gaussian blur. And we're going to turn that up quite a bit. And now that's blended in. Uh, if we didn't have alpha lock on, it would blur into the rest of the image. But once you have that on, it keeps a very sharp line on the edges, which is what we're going for. We want to maintain that. So now that we've finished the Gaussian blur on the top bun, I'm going to do it for the bottom bun and then I'm just going to go through my different air sections of my burger and fill in the tomato with the red, the cheese with the yellow, the lettuce with the green and so on and so forth. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And with each of these colors, it will they will have their own layer. So every time I go to a new section of the burger, I will be adding a new layer. Now that I've done the same treatment to that bottom bun, I'm going to temporarily take off alpha lock on these two and I'm going to flatten uh, that layer because they, it is basically the same color and I'm going to turn off alpha lock and I will move on to my next color and I have added a layer and I'm just going to go through and do the next sections. Now that I have each of the layers color filled, I am going to add a little bit more detail and shadowing with just the next darker shade to each of these colors. And I'm going to be using the script brush to do that. So with the alpha lock on each of these layers, I'm going to go through and add that shadowing and a few highlights. the shadow has been added to each of those layers so I'm just going to add one more layer and do one more burger detail before um, we add a little bit of a background and then finally do that half toning. So I just have my script brush again. I have my lightest color. I'm just going to add an, a new layer. I'm going to add some little sesame seeds. Okay, Sesame seeds are done and now I want to add a bit of a background so I've added a new layer at the very back and I am going to just choose one of these lighter colors and I'm going to try this more yellowy beige and then I want to add a shadow below my little burger here so I'm just going to use my monoline brush to create an ellipse. Fill that in and then turn down that opacity 
And you'll notice there's like a couple little spots like right there that aren't totally perfect. So I can just add this, turn on the alpha lock. You can just go and I'm gonna turn the alpha lock back on because I am gonna need it for that half tone effect. But just kind of filling in these little spots that I missed. But you know, it doesn't have to be perfect, of course. So turn back on the alpha lock. And now we are ready to um, complete that half tone effect. And it's super simple. So you do want to have the alpha lock on for this next step, because if you don't have it on, it's going to add uh, more half toning to more of the image than you want. So if you have that alpha lock, it's only going to add the effect to the layer that you have selected and you can do different levels of half toning. So more, um, more of the little dots and then or less of the little dots, bigger dots, and then um, you'll see what I'm talking about in just a moment. So we're gonna start with the burger bun and then go to the adjustments, choose half toning and you want it at full color. And then you just drag your Apple Pencil across the screen and then you'll see that half toning effect just went into effect. So here it is with the half toning, there it is without, and it just adds that really uh, fun vintage cartoon look to it. So let's go to the next layer and again alpha lock is still on. We'll go to half tone and let's scroll in so we can see how much half toning we want to add to this. So I'm going to go about a level five. So I'm going to use that level five for the rest of the insides of the burger. And then we'll do the uh, other parts. So now that we've got the whole burger done, except for his eyes, um, let's do his little arms. And I want to do a pretty heavy half tone on the arms. And I'm just going to go all the way up to about a 20% half tone on those arms. And let's do his shoes. See how far we want to go on those shoes. And do a little less on the shoes. And then the soles of his shoes. maybe do a little bit more. There we go. Select the white layer. See what we've got here. I don't want to do too much on the white layer, so we'll just keep it to a three on the white layer. Okay, so now our whole burger guy is done in half toning. He's got that really cool effect and you can really see it on his arms. And now let's just complete it for the background. And I'm going to go pretty heavy uh, on the background. So let's start off with his shadow. Grab that half toning effect and then turn that up a bit. Okay, that looks right where we want it. And now the back, the very background. And that half tone effect. And I'm going to turn this up pretty loud. There we go. So there you have the halftone feature of Procreate. No special brush needed, no brush pack needed, and you can add a lot of variation to your halftoning effect and create something really unique uh, and vintage looking. It's got that vintage feel that I absolutely love and adore. And um, it didn't take long at all. And it looks like it, like it could be an old burger mascot. It looks like he could have his own vintage cartoon. I absolutely love this um, feature of Procreate. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos like this, as well as other features of Procreate, other styles of Procreate, please hit that subscribe button and you can see more videos like this one. And I thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.